How to find and choose the right mentor. People often say that finding a mentor is essential as an entrepreneur. So, here if we take an example of an entrepreneurship. While many people within the realm of entrepreneurship are willing to be helpful, there is a big difference between someone who answers a few questions for you and someone who is genuinely interested and invested not specifically monetarily but in both your company and in you. So, that's a little way by which we can find a mentor. Here are a few ways mentioned to find and choose the right mentor. Number 1. Genuinely interested. Your mentor should be genuinely interested in your growth and well-being. A mentorship is solely about your professional life. Maybe you have some of the same hobbies. Maybe the only thing that you have in common is that you attended the same law school. Regardless of what is shared between the two of you, your mentor must have a genuine interest in your growth as a whole person. So try to find a mentor who will try to make you a better person each and every day. Number 2. Role Model There is no teacher quite like experience. If you are striving to set goals for your life, you should choose a mentor who sets and meets those goals. If you're looking to improve your relationships as a lawyer you would want to choose an attorney who displays good interpersonal skills. Number 3. Objectives While mentorship is a great way to gain support for your professional growth, it's also important that your mentor can be objective. A mentorship isn't about just praising you when you're doing well, nor is it about only pointing out where you need to change. A mentorship should be an objective look at your professional life. Number 4. Good Listening Skills when it comes to conversations, most people who are listening are busy mentally preparing an answer. But that isn't really listening. They are probably going to miss something that is being said. Something that would change how they are thinking about answering. Your mentor should be engaged in what you are saying. They should be willing to ask clarifying questions when necessary before they respond to you. Number 5. Committed to the process. Mentorship is a deep relationship. To be fulfilling and helpful on both sides, the mentor must be committed to the process. Being committed means that they are prepared for each meeting that the two of you have. They believe in your abilities. They are also respectful of time. Likely, the two of you have decided on topics for each particular session. Your mentor should have thoughts ready to share regarding each topic. Number 6. Open and Responsive Communicator While there will be specific times that you and your mentor set aside to chat, there could be times when you need to reach out and ask a question or want to make sure that you are headed in the right direction in the way that you have chosen to solve a problem. Your mentor should be someone who can respond to your emails, calls, or texts within a reasonable amount of time. Number 7. Know the worth of the mentor. Even if you have thousands or millions of dollars of revenue, a mentor would be helpful. It is important to know that, no matter where you are in your business, there is always room for improvement and the need for a sounding board. The advantage of having a mentor is that sounding board rather than an employee or co-founder is that they come with a perspective of the end consumer. Having someone outside the company is a great way to get back in touch with that side without having to do testing or surveys. Number 8. WHO can be the right mentor. A mentor can be a life-changing experience. It can make your life better in many ways. It can expose you to new ways to solve problems. Remember to choose a mentor who has the traits of a good mentor and who has the time to devote to the experience. A mentor should be a person you would love to become in your near future or would consider or look at him as a role model.